We don't get to choose the time and place that we'll face an emergency. That's why an EDC gun is carried every day. Handguns can offer protection, safety, and peace of mind when stored and used correctly and safely. You can't just make any handgun your backup gun. It must be small enough to be put in the waistband or pocket, yet strong enough to keep you safe. In this video, we will take a look at some of the best and most popular of the backup guns which can save your life. Bond Arms Backup The Bond Arms Backup is a traditional double-barrel derringer that includes the qualities that shooters in the modern era need. The very small 2.5-inch barreled backup is obviously made with one function in mind, to provide a backup weapon in the event that the primary weapon is unavailable or inoperable. The whole package is just under 4.5 inches long, approximately 3.7 inches high, and about 1.2 inches wide. It's just the right size for carrying in a small holster or in a pocket. Weight with the 2.5 inch barrel is about 18 ounces. This is enough to absorb at least some of the recoil of the contemporary ammunition for which this handgun is built. To keep the backup as low profile and compact as possible, the barrel has a bead black finish and the receiver is flat black crinkle finish. Despite being kept small and compact, the rubber grips give a surprising level of control for such a potent little package. A backup weapon to conceal in their pocket or beneath their body armor was something that many law officers coveted. According to Gordon Bond, the backup fits that need perfectly. Due to their extremely short barrels, defensive pistols cannot be held to the same accuracy standard as target pistols. Standard Manufacturing Switch Gun The most recent development in personal protection from standard manufacturing is the innovative new switch gun. The switch gun is compact enough to put in your pocket and takes up approximately the same amount of room as a cell phone. Pushing a button causes the switch gun to instantly spring open, ready to unleash 5.22 Magnum rounds reliably and instantly. The switch gun can be folded up into a very small package when not in use and concealed in your pocket. The switch gun features a large handle that provides a ton of grip similar to a full-sized revolver providing the maximum level of control and accuracy. Unlike any of its competitors, the unusual design, which has a barrel length of 0.88 inch and can hold 5 rounds of .22 Magnum ammunition, makes a lot more sense than a foldable polymer component. The standard manufacturing switch gun is made of stainless steel and is also available in blued steel. The trigger is single action and the grip is made of polymer. Springfield 911 Compact Gun manufacturers are aware of the fact that the majority of persons who habitually carry a pistol for self-defense opt for a compact, light handgun that is simple to conceal. The Springfield Armory 911 would be created any differently if you gave a group of specialists the task of creating a subcompact .380 ACP 1911 with all of the best characteristics they could think of. Springfield actually thinks the 911 is the ideal handgun for daily carry. It is a small gun, it has been shrunk in every way to fit the .380 ACP cartridge. It sports a 2.7 inch barrel and overall it's 5.5 inches long by 3.9 inches tall. It is also flat, less than an inch thick at the grips. Springfield specs have the gun's weight at 12.6 ounces with an unloaded magazine in place, so it's both small and light enough to conceal in a pocket. One flat 6-round stainless steel magazine and one extended 7-round magazine with a polymer grip extender are included with the 911 at launch. Kimber Micro 9 Kimber maintains its stellar reputation for accuracy and dependability. The Micro 9 smashes past the finish line even in a torturous testing environment, sitting beautifully. The 9mm chambering is robust enough to give tested stopping power while also being small enough to fit effortlessly into any pocket. The Micro 9's unwavering commitment to the 1911 chassis produces potential weak spots, such as the iron sights and a noticeable beaver tail. You can still count on owning a high-quality pistol that inspires confidence even with the Micro 9's premium price tag. Ruger LCR When the Ruger LCR was introduced, it was considered well ahead of its time. The company used a hybrid aluminum and polymer frame instead of a conventional alloy-only framework utilizing contemporary production techniques. It came in with a .38 special offering that weighed 13.8 ounces unloaded. It features a polymer lower unit that holds the trigger, grip, and hammer. The cylinder and barrel on the top of the firearm are made of steel, 
for the normal type and aluminum for the Magnum version. These frames hold a barrel insert, making it a little bit different from most of the other revolvers on the market. There are no sharp protruding edges on the frame itself that can poke through or make carrying uncomfortable for the shooter. NAA.22 Short How small can a handgun be while still being fun to use at the range? The NAA.22 Short is the world's smallest and lightest 5-shot mini revolver. Like all NAA mini revolvers, they are covered by a lifetime warranty against defects in material and workmanship. It is constructed in accordance with the same standards as the rest of NAA's product lines, utilizing the same stainless steel and fine machinery. The short is a polished cylinder, polished flats, and satin-finished single-action stainless steel revolver. The cylinder pin's knurled head is located below the rounded 1.125-inch barrel and the top rib meshes with the frame's softly curved top strap. The front sight is an old-fashioned half-moon fixed blade. There is no rear sight, however, by placing the front sight on top of the squared-off edges at the back of the frame on either side of the hammer hole, it is simple to create a sight picture. The hammer, which has a fixed hatchet-like blade and a textured hammer spur, must be manually cocked for each shot. As a result, a trigger guard is no longer required. Rock Island Armory M206 is a basic revolver made entirely of steel that forgoes aesthetic enhancements in order to reduce expenses. The Colt Detective Special is similar to this gun in terms of its frame, six-shot cylinder, full-back cylinder release, and vintage checkered wood handle. The single-piece 2.15-inch barrel, which is pinned to the frame, has a fixed front sight and squared-off ejector shroud seemingly borrowed from charter arms. The deeply curved smooth faced trigger is housed in a rounded trigger guard. The revolver's transfer bar safety steps in from shooting in the event of a bump or drop. The Rock Island M206 bears a close resemblance to Colt revolvers. The cylinder release pulls to the rear in the Colt fashion. The grip is adequate for all but the largest hand sizes. Overall, the Model 206 should be nearly as concealable as a 5 shot small frame revolver. Ruger LCP2.22 LR the LCP-2 is an enhanced and slightly larger version of the original Ruger LCP.380. It has a level type trigger safety, last shot hold open, slide release lever, and improved sights. Up until recently, the LCP has only been available in a 6-shot .380 ACP version. Although the Ruger is a fantastic handgun, some people might find the recoil a little irritating because of its small weight. Ruger decided to make the LCP-2 a bit more user-friendly. While the LCP-2 likely could have been chambered in a .32 ACP for lower recoil, magazine capacity would only be 7 rounds. Chambering it in at .22 LR greatly reduces recoil and allows the magazine to hold 10 rounds all without changing the exterior configuration of the LCP-2. The Ruger Light Rack System, which increases user-friendliness, is a feature of the LCP-2.22 that makes it much simpler to rack the slide. A slide is a part of a handgun that moves back and forth or slides along the top of the frame each time the weapon is fired. It creates the pistol's breech and often houses the mechanisms for the barrel, ejector and firing pin, as well as mounting the sights. The low-pressure .22LR doesn't require a lock breech operating system, but a tilting barrel blowback system. Additionally, light rack features a lighter recoil spring, more noticeable cocking ears at the back of the slide, and revised slide serrations. It functions admirably. LW C-CAMP Model 32 The C-CAMP handguns were created with the intention of self-defense. As nothing can be constructed without intention, the LW C-CAMP LWS 32 has a total weight of only 11.5 ounces with an empty magazine. The LWS 32 pistol is only 3.25 inches tall and 4.25 inches long. Cast stainless is used to make the slide, frame, trigger, hammer, magazine safety, and magazine catch. There is no external safety included with the C-CAMP semi-auto. The operating mechanism of a C-CAMP .32S uses a chamber ring delayed blowback system as opposed to the direct blowback action of the original LWS.25. Even though the .32's higher pressure required a new operating system, the cartridge nevertheless has a light enough recoil to make shooting it out of a tiny gun very enjoyable. 